really my relationship with Payday started um, a couple years ago. We had been talking and we had always wanted to get into some type of agreement. I remember Adrian Nunez had hit me up and he was talking to me about how they're revamping the label and shout out to Patrick Moxie. Um, they have like history that's, you know, unmatched um, in a lot of ways and uh, their legacy is definitely solidified. But um, I, I remember just talking to, them, talking to them about music and being a part of not just what was, but what could be. And I like to think of myself as a futurist when it comes to the whole music and everything that I do. And I thought that it was just a perfect blend for us to like come in uh, to unison. And it showed itself when we produced uh, Hit Our Soul. And it had this eclectic feel. People like to say eclectic. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what that is anymore. But uh, it has a feel of nostalgia and at the same time progressiveness. And that's always what I wanted to blend. And I felt like I was in the right rooms for people to understand that. So it's been cool, you know? Some of the biggest lessons that I've learned on my musical journey have definitely been um, stay professional at all times. You know what I mean? When, when it's time to, there's a time for play and a time for work and make sure that you can separate the two because a lot of times in the music industry, you know, things are running around all at once and you can lose yourself if you're not focused. But also um, on top of that, to counter that, remember to have fun. Cause like at the end of the day, uh, the reason why I do it and the reason why a lot of people that I know do it is to have fun and there's nothing like creating music and creating something that lives with people. So make sure that you always remember that every time that you go into the studio, you do a show. It's like Hope said, you know, treat your last like your first, your first like your last. I love that song. And uh, I think, or shout out to Puff too. And like, I think that that's just, that's where I'm at with it. I mean, I feel my take on where music is going in the streaming realm is really, um, it, it's, the, it's the present right now. I don't even think it's the future. A lot of people are like, where do you see it in the future? I think it's happening right in front of us. We're seeing the influence of like what could be a new radio, which is what we're all scared of in terms of like big companies and even furthermore labels, you know what I mean? Poaching and getting in on um, this untapped talent and this untapped um, source of income for a lot of independent artists and trying to like get in the way of it. But I think that the counter to that will be a platform for everybody to share their story and that's one thing that i really like about streaming it's like it costs you nothing as a listener to just buy into something you know what i mean and i think that that's that's an important thing with streaming that gets overlooked because a lot of times you you think about the royalties you think about oh i need that check right i need that but a lot of times reach is more important than uh in advance <laughs> so to speak you know